हेलो एवरी वन हाव आई यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद दिस वीडियो विथ अ गाइडेड ड्रीम मैसेज दिस ड्रीम इज ऑल अबाउट एम्बॉडिंग द डिवाइन फेमिलाइन एनर्जीज विद इन बीइंग द डिवाइन फेमिलाइन एंड स्टेपिंग इन टू द हायर वर्जन ऑफ अवर सेल्फ एंड द एनर्जेटिक शिफ्ट दैट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग करंटली आई हैड दिस ड्रीम टू और थ्री वीक्स बैक द ड्रीम वॉज देर वॉज an ancient structure built from black rock mostly it was indian structure because i got indian vibe the structure was very tall when i saw it the entire structure was filled with water and there was not much light inside it was very deep and it was very dark as we go down as it was filled with water there were people inside and they were trying to go out they were trying to save themselves and suddenly four female came from the depths of the structure i saw four females coming from the bottom towards the top of the structure these females were of various religion they came from bottom to the top and they tried to rescue everyone all these females they were saviors for all the people who were trapped inside and who were trying to save themselves they were not afraid or they were not worried about themselves all those four ladies they were very much fierce they wanted to save everyone who were present in that structure they were rescuing each and every one there was a small opening and they were sending the people from the opening to the other side it was kind of square shape opening but the water though it was completely filled into the structure it was not going outside from that opening when i saw to the other side from that opening it was very serene it was full of light it was quite peaceful however inside the structure it was like restless or emergency kind of situation because people were drowning most of the people i saw were children so they were rescuing the children from wherever possible and they were sending them to the other side of the uh, structure though it was dark inside that structure it was very peaceful and uh, full of light outside of that uh, opening after that i saw a lot of shoes of small children so they were of various shapes and sizes and various color they were floating but still they were at the at a certain level the structure was completely filled with water but still they were floating inside the water at a certain level and they were of different shapes and sizes and different colors the females who were the rescuers they were making sure that the shoes are intact they were protecting the shoes afterward i saw a school shoe only one school shoe was there but the other was missing it was a black school shoe with a velcro the other school shoe was missing and when one of the rescuers noticed that the school shoe is missing she told the other three uh, rescuers that i will find the shoe and i will get it back the three rescuers uh, tried to tell her that all the shoes are in place there is no need for you to go down because it is very much risky as it is very dark inside and it is not safe but she was very confident and she wanted to get that shoe back and safeguard it within fraction of seconds she went to the depths of the structure everyone was waiting for her because they have rescued all the children inside the structure and after few seconds she came back with another shoe now all the shoes were safeguarded properly so this was the dream so i'm getting a message to tell all of you if you have not watched the video uh, of the divine mother how to uh, connect to the divine mother and how to be the divine feminine within yourself it is a message for all of you who are getting called to know about the dream to first go through that video listen to it there is a meditation given in in that video please check the meditation please do it because uh, i am getting a message that somehow that um, video its message and meditation is a 
kind of prerequisite to go further so let's try to understand what was the meaning of this dream when uh, i saw the structure completely filled with water it was an ancient structure completely filled with water whatever is ancient whatever is eternal whatever is true whatever of this sort that has been hidden that has been distorted that has been manipulated into the dark or that has been tried to bury deep inside which is truth which is light it is time for that to come out and for that to come out we can see already lot of chaos is happening the divine mother energies are rising lot of divine beings are coming up and they are trying to pull the humanity or pull the collective out of the deep dark shadows they are spreading the truth the light the love peace the eternal truth into the collective so whatever has been manipulated whatever has been lied it is time for it to come to the surface it is time for it to come to the light and who will do it all the divine feminines will be doing it and the four female rescuers were representing the divine feminine energy they were of various religion irrespective of the religion irrespective of the gender the divine feminine is an energy it is present both in females and male the divine feminine energy has been suppressed from ages and because of that all the things were out of balance but now the divine mother energy is getting embodied onto earth into the whole universe and as the divine mother energy is rising all the divine feminine energies are being healed we are getting called to heal all the deep shadows all the deep wounds and transmute them into love light and peace once we do that we will be becoming true divine feminines owning our power and once we do that we will be able to know our true power know who we are and complete our soul mission in the coming times like the structure was completely filled with water there will be lot of chaos first within ourselves and secondly outside ourselves and to overcome that chaos we need to first heal ourselves completely and once we heal ourselves completely the inner balance of divine feminine and divine masculine energies will reflect outside and for that we need to heal we need to embody the divine feminine energies and once we become the divine feminine we become fierce like those warriors we don't live only for ourselves as the rescuers they were not thinking about themselves they were more concerned to save the children so here it is a message that once we embody the true divine feminine within we will be able to nurture our children the right way because these children are the crystal beings these are the beings of the highest vibrations these children are coming here to create the new earth to create the new age and it is our responsibility it is our duty to safeguard them to give them the right nurturing so that they fulfill their soul mission further so all these re female rescuers they were safeguarding all the children and they were sending them to the other side of the opening so that opening is nothing but a portal all the divine feminines will be doing or are doing this job we have to safeguard our children we have to protect them or we have to nurture them in such a way that they are protected or they are uh, not affected by the chaos into the 3d as if they are living into the 3d but they are living into the higher dimension because outside the opening 
it was very peaceful and serene it is our duty to help these higher beings these crystal children to help them live in their home frequency because these children these beings are coming here to anchor higher frequencies now let's come to the shoes part there were lot of different shapes and sizes of shoes and they were under the water but at the same level they were floating so what these shoes represent once we embody this divine feminine energies once we stand in our own power and we start nurturing our children and help them live in their home frequencies and they are able to anchor these frequencies into the earth or into this universe the new world which we can see will be very colorful there will be equality there will be no groupism no biased behavior no discrimination no gender discrimination no any sort of discrimination that does not mean there will not be any challenges or any difficulties that is part and parcel of life that is how we grow however there will be equality and especially with this higher beings the higher frequency children coming out they are here to give the message or they are here to establish equality humans are not superiors than animals or they are not superior than nature they are not superior than plants and trees everyone is equal everyone is meant to coexist we all are equal we all are one we all are here to work together we all are here to exist together we all are here to ascend we all are here to nurture each other we all are here to love each other we all are here to spread unconditional love we all are divine beings we all are meant to live in love light and peace and when we understand that we all are one we all have the same divine consciousness within we can coexist very beautifully together and the shoes were representing that and the last one is the school shoe which was only one school shoe was present and one school shoe was dropped deep inside that signifies the divine feminine energy will be rising in such a way and nurture the children in such a way that it was being done in the ancient times the divine feminines will help teach these new children the eternal knowledge the eternal truth they will help them connect to the eternal light out of the 3d chaos and vice versa these crystal beings these higher beings these children they will help us connect to the very ancient knowledge which is hidden deep within and they will help us heal ourselves activate ourselves and remember that deep hidden knowledge and to connect the dots back so that we are living into the eternal truth once again and to embody this divine feminine energy completely we need to heal ourselves we need to heal pain traumas into this lifetime and i am also getting specially the inner child healing is very much needed we need to heal and rise the divine feminine energy within in such a way that we have the divine feminine and divine masculine within balance because this will help us activate our true selves this will help us activate our true nature to be heart centered and this requires the healing of not only this life but also of all the lifetimes and here i am specifically addressing towards healing the divine feminine energies from all of the lives so that once the divine feminine and divine masculine energies are balanced these crystal beings can start working through ourselves because once our inner divine feminine and divine masculine are balanced we ourselves become the crystal beings and once we become the crystal beings the higher frequencies 
start flowing through us and we become the anchor of these higher frequencies for this earth for this universe and once the frequencies rise more and more more and more higher vibrational beings can come here and fulfill their missions so this was the interpretation of the dream and once again i would like to give you a message if you have not watched the divine feminine video earlier you can watch it you can do the meditation given in that video i will add the link in the description box because it will be a prerequisite or it will be activating something within you so that you will understand this message at a deeper level or something more will be activating within further and if you feel that you are getting called to this message and if if you want to heal yourself at the deeper level please let me know in the comment section so that i will be bringing the deep healing meditation to heal all those traumas and help you embody the divine feminine within i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching the video sending you all lots of love light and peace thank you